Now, well, this is going to be an interesting match as the Monster Mac comes out. He hey. is still right, bro. Nice nursing that, that ACL tear. Hey, what's up, guy? This is trainee, I believe it's trainee number five and nine of the Mac Attack Academy. Royce the, Royce the five nine? Yes, yes. Okay. That's a great reference. That's a fantastic reference. Do you even know who that is? So the Monster Mac Academy is clearly uh, expanding in their uh, in their training regimen here. Well, They're I'm, not only expanding. Training number one is actually traveling the country selling French wine. I don't I don't think he's selling their own brand of French wine. It's something out of a van that he like between that and shrimp. Okay. That's okay. how they make their money apparently. Fair enough. I, I mean I know that they are uh, they are accustomed to the lucha arts. So this should be very interesting with the uh, with the Abruzzi boys coming in here and uh, and trying to lay some uh, lay some hurting bombs on these folks. And the Abruzzi, oh, see? and here they come. He does this. He dances a little bit. Really? Yeah. No, I dance. Well, he does. It's good to see you finally come out of your shell after all these years, yeah. Jimmy. That's me. Yeah. They're Thanks a lot, Dusty. Accompanied by Abby Knox at a combined weight of 480 pounds, hailing from the Federal Hill section of Providence, Rhode Island. See now, you gotta get into it though. You gotta get into it. You gotta. So Abruzzi, the Abruzzi family. There is Abby Knox, flanked by Cipriano and Vincenzo. Yeah. The Abruzzi family web opened, yeah. uh, opened up a new business, a protection agency, if you will. Yeah, they need protection. The both of them. And looking to use the Monster Mac Academy as a way to springboard themselves into an RWA Tag Team Championship match. Yeah. This is not a number one contendership yeah. match. However, nice to see you. any How win you is a good win. Nice to see you. Hello. How you guys doing? No. Well, thanks a bunch, for, for, yeah, that's Former good. client of yours Hey, what's there. up? What's it's up? True. And it's Dirty. good to know that uh, we've been able to bury hatchets. Oh, come on. No, no. Don't tease people like that. Come on. I'm standing here waiting for it. It's terrible. Uh, in, in any event, yeah, burying hatchets here at the chop shop. That's oh, yeah. my former client, Mr. You're lucky I'm not burying you, you piece of crap. As clearly as he's uh, teamed back up with his brother, they have both teams here are enterprising outside of the ring, and it's good to know. I like how you stole my seat too, Bobby Rossi. I really appreciate it. This that. was assigned to me by management. I'm just following orders. Yeah, I'm getting fired. I know it. We're underway here. The, it'll be Vincenzo, the pretty of the pretty one of the tag oh, team. Looks like the on. has got some uh, some new gear there. I think this is training number nine in the Green Ranger esque setup. Nice drop toe hold into the corner. Vincenzo is able to oh, block it. Journey number nine is up and throws an arm drag on Vincenzo Bruzzi and a drop kick. Here's a cover here. One, two, and no, just a one count. Oh, fast moving. Fast Ta moving. See, Lucha Arts. The tag Lucha into arts. training number five. Now, you uh, were a tag team wrestler, Jimmy. Is it, When you have a team coming in that, that is versed in the Lucha Arts, is that difficult to defend against? Well, I mean, it's uh, it's definitely different. I mean, there's definitely a speed uh, speed type of thing. A lot of uh, rolls and arm drags. Cover one, two, and Vincenzo kicks out at two. Yeah, things you may not be so accustomed to, you know? Up and over goes Vincenzo Abruzzi. Vertical suplex by training number nine. Cover one, two. That's actually training number five. Excuse me. Uh, I'll tell you what. Training number five is showing more crack than a Harlem street corner. This is a PG show, folks. That was history. That's what that was. <laughs> Just... I mean, Bumpy Johnson called him, like, you know, I mean, Denzel Washington, man, but it did a good job. Off the ropes, spinning oh. wheel kick. That was in the lower midsection. Off the ropes goes training number nine, Vincenzo. And here's Just. where the size difference is going to make a difference. Vinny clearly throwing his weight around, and now he's got control of the matchup. Tag into Cipriano or Bruzzi. RWA's strongest man drop down. Here's the drop kick coming from Vincenzo Abruzzi. Nicely done by the Abruzzi family. Solid team. One, two, and a kick out. Well, I mean, they have been tag teaming for a long time. I mean, uh, I don't know about, uh, you know, what type of, uh, you know, what type of uh, teaming the uh, the trainees uh, have done together. But this is uh, this is very interesting. Cipriano Abruzzi holding on. Vertical suplex rolling through and like going the for the trifecta. Amigos. Yeah, little three amigos. 
Eddie Guerrero would be proud and oh, no. spinning neck breaker out of nowhere. Wow, very nice. Here's very a couple. honky tonk One, man. Two and a kick out. I'm a honky tonk man. I'm cool. I'm cocky. I'm bad. No? C Cipriano doesn't strike me as a country fan. But well, it doesn't matter if you're a country fan. I mean, everyone appreciates a honky tonk man. I mean, Wayne Ferris, what an incredible guy. I mean, he's awesome. He's Jerry, Le Jerry the King Lawler's cousin. Well, that would explain a lot. <laughs> yeah, it's that would explain a hell of a lot. In the Something that they do in Virginia a lot for some reason. It's very hot. Well, not in East Virginia. In West Virginia, they do plenty of I see. I didn't know there was an East Virginia. We didn't drive through that in the corn. We did not. <laughs> we drove through West Virginia. We did do that. We did, yeah. That There's a cover here. One, two, and a kick out by training number nine. Actually, West Virginia was kind of a nice, it was a nice it was place. A nice it had some wooded, wooded areas instead of corn. He had that nice, uh, that nice tunnel uh, that threw him through away. The so tag into Cipriano. Another double team move coming here by the Abruzzis. Oh, joining hands there. Cover one, two, and a kick out. Training number five. Now this is something that the Mazamak, who does have the torn ACL, he still has the uh, brace he's wearing under his, under his pants there. You can see it through his suit. The Monster Mac Academy really trying to find footing because training number one has only really worked with the Monster Mac, and they were a very dominant tag team here in the WWE. Cover one, two, and a kick out. I'll tell you what, these trainees look awful familiar, though. I can't put my finger on it, but you can tell that Monster Mac has had an influence on them. Yeah. Huh. Club to the back Well, oh, I mean, the Abruzzis are taking them to task right now. Oh, that's a big body slam from Vincenzo now. And that's what you expect from the Abruzzi family. They're, nothing's going to be pretty. It's all going to be hard-hitting, smash-mouth type of wrestling. Well, that's what it should be. I mean, these guys are, you know, basically hired thugs. Oh, there's some forearms from training number nine. Another forearm into the ropes goes training number nine. Vincenzo sends him up, and could it be a power bomb? And it, oh. No, training number nine reverses it into a DDT out of nowhere. Vincenzo's showing a lot of agility that we haven't seen it out of him in a while. Very interesting. Training number nine trying to get to his corner. Vincenzo Abruzzi trying to get to his corner. Vincenzo. All he has to do is reach up that dumb, that dumb guy. The tag into Cipriano, tag into training number oh, five. Oh, here it comes. Big clothesline. clothesline, training number five. Another clothesline ducked under by the training to five. Training five sends Cipriano Abruzzi. That was a modified angle slam. Cipriano's down. Vincenzo gets caught by training number five. Training nine in the ring now. Double team oh! action from the Mac. What a German suplex. That was a knee right into the German suplex. Vincenzo Abruzzi down. And you can see that Abby Knox is trying to figure out a way of getting her team back on the same page here. Cipriano getting hammered by training number nine. Low bridge. There goes training number nine up and over. Training five. This is the clothesline. There's that roaring lariat. Training five was folded in half. Here's a cover. One, two, and no. Oh, training number nine dives back in the ring at the last possible second. He saw the Mossimac literally throw training nine into the ring. Training nine going to need a four on there. Cipriano Bruzzi in a bad way, something we didn't expect. Clear size disadvantage by the Mossimac Academy. And it looks as if that is what's affecting them now. The Abruzzis clearly have the upper hand now that they've slowed down the pace of this matchup to a certain degree. Cipriano goes for, well, that was Vincenzo with a scissor kick. And here comes the Moulinian on Trainee 5. One, two, and that'll do it. The Abruzzi family pick up a big win against the Monster Magic. And your winners are Cipriano and Vincenzo Abruzzi, the Abruzzi family. That was a good match. That was a good match. I like that. I like that. I like it a lot. The Abruzzi's trying to get back to winning ways here in the RWA. And that's going to that's gonna show here as they're trying to refocus in the tag team goals. And well, folks, welcome back into the broadcast position. Don't adjust your sets. Yes, Bobby Rossi's back. Handsome Jim on the end. I am the classy Rob Massey. And guys, coming up next, I, I don't even know how to really describe uh, what's going on with the Mossimac Academy, well, before we before we go on to the next match, you both are managers in, in different aspects. If you're the Mossimac, what do you do to reestablish your team here in the RWA? Good. You're the new guy. <laughs> First thing I would do is I would do a, a, a full-on skills assessment. See where our strengths are, see where the growth areas are. That would be the starting point. And then from there, plan a forward-moving attack. Huh. Okay. 
I wouldn't do any of that, actually. I think that that's a terrible idea. What I would do is I'd really get back into the, uh, get back into the, uh, the, the um, you know, dungeons in France. You know, have some wine. Think about what I'm doing with my career. Maybe retire. Uh, because clearly they're not getting the job done. Well, coming up next, speaking about not getting the job done, uh, Dick Lane has decided to challenge the oh Irish Warrior to really? a body slam challenge. And, uh, well, let's, let's show you. This is a new guy. Let's show you uh, who Dick Lane is and where the body slam challenge came from. We'll be right back. Yes. Yeah. 